we're on the road to Panillo, which is a small, small town in Aragon that has a Buddhist temple, believe it or not, hidden away for almost 40 years. It's been up here. We're going over. We're going to check it out. As the summer for tourism has been really slow in Barcelona, I'm spending some time exploring Aragon, where my girlfriend's family has a house and I just became an official guide. When I first heard of Dag Shangu Gagyu, I almost didn't believe that only a short 20 minute ride from us, tucked away in the pre-Pyrenees mountains, there was a Buddhist temple of all places. So I had to check it out. We just got here, there are a lot more people than I thought there would be, but it looks pretty cool and it's really big. We're only gonna be visiting the part that you can actually see. The rest of it really extends through this whole area in the mountain for a little bit more seclusion. But we're gonna check out what we can today. Panillo has a population of three people, so it was a bit of a surprise to learn that this small town hosts a Buddhist temple home to eight lamas. Founded in 1984, the temple is a place of worship and a learning center today that unites the Shangpo and Dagpo lines of Buddhism. It was set up by Kalu Rinpoche, who through his extensive travels in the 70s was contacted by Spaniards called to the Buddhist teachings. Churches, cathedrals, even the mosques and synagogues that are left are the norms when you think about Spain, but a Buddhist temple isn't always something that comes to mind. Aragon, especially the region closest to the Pyrenees, is covered with the Romanesque style of architecture, as it, like Catalonia, formed part of the Carolingian buffer zone between the Muslim taifas and the Christian lands that would form into different counties and later the kingdom and crown of Aragon. When you think of Aragon and its architecture, you usually think of kind of the Romanesque, maybe 11th, 12th century. And it's really interesting to see all of the Tibetan kind of style around here, just in the middle of nowhere. I didn't find too many English videos online about this place, but I assume that's due to not many foreigners making the trip out here. Because of the coronavirus, all guided visits have been suspended, so I'll have to come back another time to get a better feel, but there's still plenty to see. The visible site holds the main temple and 108 stupas that hold the relics. The enlightenment stupa found here in the center is meant to be encircled in a clockwise manner while spinning the prayer scrolls along the bottom, as you can see Ingrid beautifully demonstrating. Inside the temple, they're actually doing a session for meditation all morning. So we weren't able to get in there at all. But like I said before, really interesting just to see a completely different style of architecture than what you would relate with Aragon, just in the middle of the mountains. All in all, a really nice trip. We'll have to come back sometime and get a tour and see a little bit more of everything they have to offer over here. For 
more information on tours and any of the other courses that they provide here, I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. And for those of you that are in the area, it's a pretty cool place to check out and different from the other towns in the region like Ainsa, Roda di Sabena, and Alquezar that I'll have videos up for pretty soon.